Then we have a recap of the announcement of Adam Copeland's injury. Oh, here we go. And TNT title vacancy in the latter match for that. So to re- to recap this show, we had an FTR promo, a Jack Perry promo, and then a recap of a promo. And I thought to myself, man, we sure could use a wrestling match with some top-level stars. And here comes Roderick Strong and Leo Rush. Yes. I'm the world's biggest Roderick Strong fan. Leo, Leo Rush was awfully great. They had a great match here. These are not the top-level stars I had in mind. No, the match was really good. The match was awesome. I love this match. But the, the well, we'll get, there's a large issue here. So the match was great. Fans chanted for yeah. Leo. He sells great because he's a tiny little man. Makes a big comeback. Fans love it. Goes for that frog splash. Roddy gets his knees up. And he finally hits the man with end of heartache and he, he pins him. He beats Leo Rush. No one doubted this at all. Going in. Mm-hmm. So we'll get back to the Kyle O'Reilly promo here in a moment, but after the match, Roderick Strong storms to the backstage area. And the first person we actually see on screen is Chris Daniels. I thought, okay, well, I know what Chris Daniels' role is. Mm-hmm. He is the new interim EVP or whatever. Interim EVP. Right. EVP. His job is to be the voice of Tony Khan. Right. Whatever he says, it comes direct from Tony. He did say that, yes. If you have a problem, you go to Christopher Daniels, not Tony Khan. That's right. That's his job. Mm -hmm. Well, the camera keeps panning, (laughs) and there's Tony Khan. And his hair. Roddy Storm's past Christopher Daniels and he goes straight to Tony Khan he then explains I was supposed to be number whatever in the gauntlet 10 11 I believe it was 10 who the fuck cares but he says the match ended before I got out there therefore I was screwed Out of my shot at the championship. Even though the fucking rules are, there's apparently 21 guys, I've later learned. It's a casino gauntlet, so it's 21 guys. But the match can end at any time. So if the first guy pins the second guy, the fucking thing's over. It can end at any time. Mm -hmm. Roddy has no case. He has no argument whatsoever. And if he does have an argument, so do numbers 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Is my math right? And 21. And 21. My math was wrong. Now it's right. right. So he says, because I was screwed, I want a world championship match against Swerve on Wednesday. Now keep in mind, on the previous Wednesday... We had the casino clusterfuck where Will Ospreay had to bust his ass. And men came in from all over the world, unadvertised, costing AEW money because they didn't advertise anybody. They had a great match, battle for the ages. Will Ospreay wins. He earns a world championship match. Roddy walks in and says, I didn't even get in the match, even though that's the way the match works. Therefore, I demand to have a world title match anyway. And Tony Khan, God bless him, he's laughing through the entire thing. He can't keep a straight face. He's smiling. He's laughing. And Roddy makes his challenge. And Tony's eyes get really wide. And he looks all over. Did you hear that? And then he says, that's a great idea. I said, what? (laughs) That's a great idea? He says... All right, you get a world title match against Swerve on Wednesday. Now, okay, listen, I was on the board yesterday, and everyone is all hung up on, does Roddy deserve a shot against, like, what's his win-loss this year? Oh, you guys know he was pretty much undefeated. He was the international. He's got a record of 21 and 2 or whatever. I'm like, brother, that don't have shit to do with anything. That doesn't fucking matter one bit. The bigger issue is 
He has no leg to stand on in his argument. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And Tony said, with a smile, that that's a great idea. So let me tell you something. If Wednesday does not open with 11 people outside Tony Khan's door, number 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21, they better be standing outside this fucker's door. They better be demanding that they get a world title shot because they got screwed like Roddy. If that doesn't happen, I'm going to be pretty pissed off. This segment was like an all-timer. An all-timer. Yeah, you're right. That'll happen. That'll happen. Uh, <laughs> going back to the match, I do want to just... The say, match! Go ahead. Do you mind if it's I bearing give the lead, my but thoughts that's fine. here on the wrestling match or the wrestling show we're here to review and for our wrestling fans? Can you... How about this, Vinny? I'll let you, but mm -hmm. can you give your thoughts on the segment we just discussed and then go back to the match? If you really want me to. But yes, I do. I like to do things in chronological order. I know. I don't want to jump the gun. I'm afraid you must jump the gun here. Well, I totally agree with you. It's fucking stupid that by... It didn't even occur to me that there were like 10 guys after him who would have gotten yes. in there? Yes, 21. But even regardless of the, I mean, the, the seven or eight guys, whatever it is, who got in before him and were not pinned, like they should be just as pissed. Yes. He's leapfrogging all of them. They should all be outside his door on Wednesday. Yes. This makes no sense. It's stupid. It's very stupid. It sucks. I agree with all of that. Thank you. I do want to say one of the reasons the match was so good is because Leo Rush is really, really good at what he does, but he's so tiny. He's kind of limited in what he can do. He needs someone who can keep up with all his now you see me, now you don't act. And Roddy can do that because Roddy is awesome. That's the point I wanted to make. Do I have to, do I have to talk about... You must talk about this segment first. <laughs> okay. I think it's ridiculous because Will Ospreay had to beat guys from all over the world. And Roddy had to beat a guy who wrestled at the Thurston County Fairgrounds last weekend. <laughs> Did he? Yes. Wow. Now, now he, Thurston he wrestled... County is, isn't Aberdeen there? Lacey. Mm. Lacey is Thurston County Fairgrounds. Lacey, Washington. But is Aberdeen he in beat... Thurston County? No. No, oh. no, it's in. Uh, at least Brian Danielson came from there. Yeah. It's That's somewhat true. prestigious in wrestling history. Spanaway would be the big city, I believe, in Thurston County. No, 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 no. Olympia. Yeah. So, so uh, Brian Kendrick. Yeah. Brian Kendrick. Yeah. Perhaps okay. that's why. Anyway, he beat uh, uh, Williams. Can't remember his name. Anyway, the blonde kid from Canada. Yeah, Stellar here we review. Go. I know it. Uh, I I wasn't even there, so. <laughs> so uh, Williams yeah. from Canada. Yeah. Add wrestler. Agree. Russell Williams, criminal. No. No, no terrible criminal. Yeah, so, uh, Travis, jeez, Travis Williams, he's awesome. <laughs> you really put him over. Yeah, he's he's great. Yeah, the show has broken me. The segment I, uh, broke I, me. Did I tell you I was on vacation last week? <laughs> you brought it up, dude. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we didn't pro pressing you for a review of the Thurston County Championship show. Uh, understood. Understood. Okay. Yeah. It's on me. <laughs> Here's Will Ospreay winning the casino clusterfuck and facing off with Swerve. Brian, you sound like the guy I'm talking about on this match tonight. Yeah. Miz. Oh, stop. Oh, it's, it's, <laughs> His huge pop. Grand, you know, Miz is Brian's favorite wrestler. <laughs> Braggers Knights. Start over. Braggers. Start over. Braggers, Braggers Knights. Knights. After a few brags by Miz. A few match. brags? <laughs> That's what I said. Okay. The match started with body hugged tugs. <laughs> Body More. tugs. Oh, no. Whoa. <laughs> wow. What show is this? That, that's where you put your arm around the middle and oh, tag. Okay. Trying to tag them around. Tug? You reach around from behind. <laughs> and tug? Brian, stop. Okay. Miz jumps out of the ring to slow 
down his uh, hurtin. <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna tear this apart, I'm not gonna read it. <laughs> no, please, please keep reading it. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.